Welcome back to our fall premiere party. Now, you know, at City Line, we are all about making your life easier. And that's what we're doing with this next segment where we try before you buy. Lisa and Amanda are here. They're testing manual chopping gadgets, and they're going to tell you which one is worth your hard-earned cash. We want to save you money. It is so good to have you two with us. Talk to me about your first gadget. Okay, so this is all about meal prepping, especially mm. as we go back to the routine, back to school. Yeah. For both of us, if, you know, we have chopped vegetables in the fridge, that says everything between making a meal during the week or potentially ordering out. <laughs> so yes. the first food chopper is from Chefin. Okay. This is a very unique system because the blade is inside. It doubles as a container, but the actual right. chopper system works with this pulley, so this pull handle. Oh. So as you can see, you're getting a bit of a workout. Yes. But what it's supposed to do is evenly chop every kind of vegetable yeah. or nut or make dips inside of the container. Okay. Now, the pros of this is that it's got a great grip at the bottom, so it keeps it nice and sturdy. Mm -hmm. But what I really liked about the handle system is if you have dexterity issues, this allows you to grip it really well. Okay. All you have to do is sort of activate that arm strength and away you go. Now, the cons for me, yeah. is the fact that with that blade, you would think that it chops evenly, but it actually didn't. So you get some small pieces, some bigger pieces. Overall, it did the job. Yeah. But if you have to chop the vegetable small to get in there anyways, why wouldn't you just take a knife and do it the old school way? Totally. Like the prep before the prep? No. Exactly. Amanda, what do you think? I felt the same thing, and yeah. I was testing carrots at home, and I had to pre-chop a little. So it kind of defeated the purpose, you know? Totally. I hear you 100%. I feel that way about dishwashers. Don't at me. <laughs> I feel like if you're going to rinse them anyways, just wash them, but you're saying no, that's not the same. No. Okay, what have you got there, Amanda? What's your I gadget? I have the Vivant Food Chopper here, mm -hmm. and it, it requires a little bit, you know, we're getting those muscles going. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, Again. it's a slapping type of thing. I mean, it looks cute. Yeah, it's got it this silver look here. Is it better than a knife? Because it has, looks like about three oh. blades at the bottom, right? Yeah. But it, it's not. It's not better than a knife. I feel like for some of the softer vegetables, onions, nuts, that type of thing, garlic. Yeah. Done. No problem. Otherwise, you're pre-chopping. And you're not able to fit too much inside the container. Very true. Absolutely. It does look good on the countertop. It does. But if those blades are not sharp enough. What did you think of that one? You know what? It didn't do a great job with the hard vegetables. It didn't do a great job with the soft vegetables. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the soft vegetables, it gave me more puree than anything else. So I'm going to pass on that one. <laughs> We're not looking for a puree. No. All right. Last uh, gadget you tested. Okay. So this one is your slice, dice, and shredder. You've probably seen this one on Pinterest, on Instagram as yeah. well. Got to tell you, Trace, it's like a mandolin met the red carpet because Ooh. it came with the mandolin system, yeah. but it also has all kinds of different accessories and grids. What I loved about this one is that it does everything evenly. So you want to feel yeah. like a chef extraordinaire, like our MDP over there. Yes. You could absolutely do it with this one. I loved it. Very cool. Okay, so did you love it? I did love it. I just have to say so many accessories, is, it's a hard sell, but it works so well. It's, it's, the, wa it's the washing of the things, right? We're going to have to wash the things. Exactly. Okay, so why don't we do a little test? Let's oh, test let's it out. Do it. And I want the best one. It's <laughs> 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 rigged. Let's see how this is going to work when we're chopping a pepper. Don't start until I tell you to start. All we're right. waiting. We're okay, waiting. and we will see what we think uh, of each of these devices and how they do. Are you guys ready with I'm your... ready. My triceps are ready. Okay. Three, two, one, get chopping! It's a stamp. I'm just gonna. Really good. Listen, this is a really good test. I'm gonna show you mine. I'm gonna brag. That's why I picked the good one. It does it so well. Like, immediately. It's amazing. Before we wrap up, tell us about your brand new show. We, we try before you buy. Lisa and I are so excited. So we have a new YouTube series on the City Lines YouTube channel where we're testing out all the hottest products and gadgets so you don't have to. You know what? And, and on that note, I have to give a big shout out to my co-host, Amanda Muse here. We had so much fun, but it was also a really interesting project to be a part of yeah. because we're taking some of the most buzzworthy products on the market in every category, and we're trying to decide, is it worth your coin? Yeah. You really have to watch to see 
what we discovered, because it will actually shock you. Some of the <gasps> things you some... think are good, not so much, not and so then good. vice versa. So... Yeah, and please understand, they're very honest because we don't know anyone anything. Yes. So whatever they are testing, Correct. they're giving you their honest uh, review. Check it out only on CityLine's YouTube channel. It premieres tomorrow, which is amazing. Very good.